Hi everybody, this is Marav and today I'm going to talk to you about Orders Manager of iJumla Digistore. So to get there you need to click on Orders Manager here or on the left side under Managers click Orders and basically you can see all your orders here. You can do a search to find an order by the order ID or by customer in first name, last name or email or even by username. You can also do a search by date. Now, if you want to uh, open a new and start a new order from the back end, this is how you do it. You click on New, and now you have three options. The first one is a new user, somebody who doesn't exist on your user database. When you go here to User Manager, this person is not even there. The second option is for new customers, people who are already on the user database here, but they never bought anything from you, so they are not customers of Digistore yet. And the third option is existing customers. These are people who already purchased from you something. So if you choose the first option, new order, a new user, you'll see that the form is completely empty and you need to fill it out. If you choose a new customer, you're going to be asked to enter a, a username. So let's say I choose this. It's probably going to say that it doesn't like, exist. If it doesn't exist, it's going to ask you to fill it out just like before. The only thing that's going to be populated is the username because that's all there is. There is no customer. And if you choose the third option, which is existing customers, it's going to ask you again to enter the, the customer username. And then when you click on continue, it's going to allow you to place the order. So what you want to do is basically add a product and you can do this as many times as you want. You can add as many products as you want to this order and then you can click select and choose which product you want to add. So let's say that I want to add Guru and now you can also choose whether you want it to be a, a new subscription or a renewal of an existing subscription. So if I choose renewal it's going to uh, ask me to choose which license I would like to renew. And if it's new, I'm just going to just continue without having to choose anything. Now, you can also choose the subscription plan. We have two plans here. You can choose one of them. And you do the same thing for every product you'd like to add to your order. So once you finish adding all the products, and you can remove the ones you don't want, choose the payment method how these people are paying, you say it's a, it's a phone order or maybe it's like uh, they order it on uh, you know on the phone or on email or something like that choose how you charge them because you can charge with PayPal or credit card you can choose if you want to use any of the promo codes that are available and that, that are published right now and the amount is going to show here now if you choose a promo code it's going to basically uh, calculate the promo code and show you what the discount is okay and it's going to show you the total after the promo code and tax if you charge taxes and the amount paid it's going to show you how much it costs but you can enter anything here for example if it's something that you give for free you can just enter a zero here and then when you save what you're going to see is you're going to see this new order and how much was paid and uh, who was the customer and the, the username and all that stuff. So the cool thing about this, once you edit the order, the li licenses are also being added automatically. If I click on licenses, you can see that these two products that I added are now added to licenses manager and I can see that my name is here and you can also see what plan I chose for these products. So this is it. This is how you add an order on the back end of a Joomla Digistore. Thanks for watching.